Hello and welcome to this video on Auto Capture. Auto Capture is a feature of Relationship Insights, um, which is a new feature in Dynamics 365. Um, what Auto Capture does is it scans um, Exchange for emails which are from um, email enabled records in CRM, contacts, accounts, etc., and it suggests to the CRM user um, whether or not they should track, suggest to them they should track that email in CRM. So let's see how that works. Um, I've got this contact, Ginger Segal. Uh, he has an email address, which is my personal email address. And if I go into that email address and I send something to um, the user of CRM, um, I'll just call it sales and I'll say, sell me some of your stuff, please. And I send that. Now, in my mailbox um, that is um, uh, configured with that, um, with that CRM, I've received the email here. In there and there's the email. Now if I go into into CRM itself I can see that that email is here but it looks slightly different from the other emails in my activities all the other activities in here because first of all it's it's got this um, little little box around it this little dotted line and it's white it's not this darker this darker color um, and um, and it says not track, only you can see this email. So what it's done is it has, um, uh, Dynamics 365 has looked in, looked in Exchange and said, oh look, there's, a, there's a, an email in there from this email address. Do you want to track it? Um, now I can decide whether or not I want to track it or I, I don't have to if I don't want to. Now if I decide I want to open up this um, activity, when I open it up, it opens it up in Outlook. It doesn't open it up in Dynamics 365 because it's not actually in Dynamics 365 yet and it's only showing up there on the list of activities so it doesn't open up in any kind of Dynamics 365 form but if I decide I want to track it I can do let's say track and tracking will be pending and then in a few minutes time it will actually track it into um, into Dynamics 365 as a, a, a regular email so you're tracking from here manually tracking from Dynamics 365 rather than manually tracking from Outlook. Um, now, there are one or two uh, things with this that um, perhaps are uh, not too user-friendly. Uh, first of all, uh, there isn't any one place you can look, any one screen you can look at in Dynamics 365 where you can see all the emails that AutoCapture has found across all contacts, accounts, etc., and uh, a full list of them so you can decide to track them all. You have to actually go into the record that it's for. Um, which isn't terribly user-friendly because you may not actually be in that record. Um, you just might not be in there, so you might not see it. Um, another thing is that there isn't any way in here to say, no, thank you, I don't want to track it, please get it rid of, please take it out of this list. Although you can put a filter on here and you can um, take untracked emails off, in which case it removes them. Um, at any which are, at which are uh, tra tracking pending or not being tracked, you can see there's this old one here not track it actually removes those and um, so that is that is how um, how that works now I have tried to track appointments but um, it doesn't seem to work it seems to get stuck in the pending tracking mode so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be working um, if you do um, delete an email from your um, from your outlook um, which has been suggested to track in dynamics 365 and you have to actually delete it from your deleted items as well before it will uh, disappear from here as a as a not tracked not tracked um, email. So there are a few things which perhaps need to be worked out, but it is still quite a nice uh, useful feature. Um, so that's it. That's um, auto capture in Dynamics 365. Thanks for watching.